There, what's going on, everybody? Lucky here from lucky 7 Mudmos, YouTube.com. I'm here at work, uh, which is the Tire Doctor in Massachusetts. We have three locations 8 Federal Street, Blackstone, Massachusetts, 295 Union Street, East Walpole, Massachusetts, and 46 Fall River Avenue, Rehoboth, Massachusetts. So today we are working on what you guys already noticed. A Dodge. We are going to be replacing, of course, the oil. So what we have here is a and the fuel filters. Uh, what we have is this fuel filter here, the Wix. This uh, fuel no, uh, filter is a part number. I'm not going to name it off. That's one fuel filter, and this one happens to be a cartridge. Looks something like this. Then we have the other fuel filter, which is this one. My bolts from the bottom, comes off the top. That part number. W and Whiskey, F and Frank, 10112. I might as well name off the fil first one I did, which is W and Whiskey. F one o two five five and a Nancy P and Paul. And it's a filter number. That is the two fuel filters, and this one here is the oil filter, which uh, is part number five seven six two zero, which that is also a Wix. And the oil, which is on the uh, floor, is uh, fifteen by, uh, by forty fifteen W forty. So what I'm going to do is take you underneath the truck right now. Uh, we're going to drain the oil. Uh, I'm working with my laptop, so bear with me, and we're going to try to get this up and going here. I'm going to place you underneath the truck. I'm going to have to uh, get a better position. So we're going to here. We'll show you how to do the oil. So yeah, the answer to some of these questions. Yeah, I'm able to uh, put the truck up in a lift. I do have a lift, but some particular jobs like this, I happen to think it's easier to do it on the floor. Gonna have to get a three eighths ratchet. Cost no nothing on it, and you just loosen it up. Once it's loose, put the drain, your pan, your bucket, whatever you're going to use. Underneath, loosen it up. Drain oil. While that's draining, I could actually get back up there and maybe we'll do the oil filter now. <laughs> All right, that's waiting. Always good to clean your oil drain plug. Put it where you ain't gonna be able to lose it, which I like to keep it on my little bench. It's just a little shelf here. One thing I don't have is one of those little rolling tool carts that uh, a lot of people have. Uh, I find it, it's one of those things that people just keep on cluttering things on. So what I usually do is this little shelf here, could adjust it to whatever I need. And I work with that. I don't do a lot of automotive stuff. I do a lot of light stuff. Uh, I gotta expand this here so I can see what's going on. 
Uh, I got two people viewing. If you don't mind, you could be able to chat, say something. This way I know who's actually here. All right, so to be able to get to this uh, oil filter, you have to go through a little opening, which put your hand right here. And when I'm touching this little silver piece right here, that's your oil filter. So I'm going to be taking that off. So I'm going to put this up over here. And you can basically still see the hole. Here's the hole. Stick your hand in here. Oil filter right there. Now, there's two different ways you can be able to do it. Get yourself a strap or a little cup go underneath. I find the cups are pain in the ass to get hold of, uh, put it underneath there. So I'm going to grab my little oil wrench. Like this. Really don't give you that much room, so it's tough. Don't forget a Sometimes I find it's easier to break the seal. What I mean by breaking the seal is go both ways with it. You tighten it up and you loosen it. It's coming slow but sure. Of course, they got to put a couple lines in the way, you know.
So today is really kind of one of those warm days. So getting really nice side. If I be able to get my hand in that, that's just a scratch. <clears throat> Take my gloves off. <sighs> Maxwell, how you doing, buddy? Has Lucky Seven a build motor in it? Lucky Seven does have a built motor, yes. I know I have really haven't done any track videos in a while. Uh, explain to everybody I had some things I had to take care of at the homestead. I'm um, hopefully uh, this weekend feels like it's gonna be a nice weekend. I might be able to go out there with a the tractor, do a nice romp. But if I don't post anything, people get upset because I don't post nothing. So I figure I'll do some live videos. All right, so the filter's loose, oil's drained. I'm gonna climb underneath there and put the drain uh, plug back in, because I need that pail to catch oil that's gonna be coming out of the filter. So give me a second, I'm gonna put the drain plug back in. So we're gonna take that. That's in there. Don't over tight that drain plug. You just snug it up just a tad bit. I'm gonna show you guys. Look at this oil. Look how black that is. Yeah. All right. Now, put them in that bucket. Oh, it's in the side. Pull that down just a bit. I got my bucket underneath to be able to grab the silk. Reach your hand in there, untwist it. Only way this filter is going to be able to come out. Let's do this hole and sideways, like so.
get a clean rag or a rag. Go up there, clean off where the seal is, where it sits. Now what stinks is because you have to put that filter sideways. Try to clean up much as you can, but all that oil that was in the filter gets on the frame. All right, so now we're gonna grab the oil filter. Oil filter. Oil filter is 57620, which is a Wix. And you take a little bit of oil. Now you can't fill it right to the top because you've got to put the filter in sideways. So what we're going to do is add just a tad bit in there so it's not completely bone dry. Now I'm going to tilt it sideways. Reason why I'm tilting it sideways this way, I can see how much oils I put in there. Roughly, it's going to be a cup or so. Does it go sideways? Yep, that's about right. Don't forget to lubricate the seal. The filter goes in sideways. Oh. Hey, right. look for the hole because you can't see it. Once you get a couple threads on there, you'll be good. Now, when you put the filter in there, you put, crank it up there by hand. Never use one of these to put the filter on. All right, so oil change is almost complete. Go get my milk crate. Look at that engine, huh? Ain't that a beautiful engine? Uh, oil. Recommended oil, 12 cup uh, quarts. Fifteen W forty. I'll catch up on your chats. Let's see what we have here. Oh, I use a co covered in black dirt.
director. Get one more last drop out of this. Appreciate everybody logging on. Nope. That didn't make the trash bucket. After this, we're going to do the uh, fuel filters. There are two locations on here. One's next to the engine, and the other one's next to the, the fuel tank. Usually, like to do one thing at a time. Do the easy stuff first because the next one I'm dealing with the uh, diesel fuel and eh, just the smell of diesel, you know, it stays on you, it smells. Yeah, so I'm very close to that 1,000 subscriber mark. I believe I have 148. Very close to, not 140, uh, 948 subscribers. I'm like 60 subscribers shy to that 1K. Oh, man, it's never ending a whiff. Love that smell with the diesel smell. I like the smell of gas, gasoline. Hmm. <sighs> Oil. Now, if I was a tin man, I could be able to drink this. What is the tin man? If they drink the oil, if he drinks the oil, would he get drunk? Almost. So I watched a few videos regarding on oil changes as well with changing both of the filters on this particular vehicle. And I think there was like three or four different people that did post them. Yeah, they, they got to the details. They showed you how to do it. But actually to do a live video. I didn't see anybody doing it. Didn't get into the details. So I figured I'll I'll show you guys exactly how to do it. Right now it's uh just about 24 minutes for the, for the oil change. So pretty much within a half hour. You could be able to do an oil change. All right. Mm -hmm. 
no sense of checking the oil, and I'm not going to turn it on because I got to do the fuel filters. Now there's one fuel filter up over here. I'll show you guys very shortly. Get my light this way you guys can see. So the first filter is going to be located right here on the driver's side, straight down from my finger. Uh, I don't know if you guys should be able to see that there. It's black. It's a cover. All right. Now it's going to be kind of tough for me to show you exactly, but I got to get something else. Stuff is too tall for me. Uh, actually, I can lower it down a little bit. Oil out. Little truck down tad bit. Yeah, that's about right. All right, so th that little particular piece I showed you in the back, let's see if we can get a better picture of it. Which is this piece right here I'm touching. Right in the back, there's a little wire back there. You have to disconnect that. Uh, why it looks like it's, let's see, red and black. And you just pop that up. And disconnect it. Now, it's going to tell you which way to be able to turn that cover. And let's see. I wonder if I could be able to pretty much do it by hand. Open. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to get a little socket up there. Pop that off. Tell me to bleed it. All right, so. Get a socket on there and make it a little bit easier for myself. Once I find out the exact size, I'll let everybody know. Need a wrench. It's me. Bigger than that. We're going the whole side of the garage. I'll be right back, guys. Go get a socket. I grab myself two sockets just in case. That looks about right. And so the socket you're going to need one and one eighth big socket. Put up top. Make it a little bit easier for you to take that off. Get 
see if this works here. Not that easy. Not I've got a good grip on it. <sighs> wow. Well, I watched the video. The guy didn't tell me it was going to be hard to get this one off. I have to get another one. Plus the videos, they don't show them. Mm. It's only a plastic cover, so you can't use a air wrench on it. Beautiful engine there. Oh, man. Boy, this one here is a challenge. So the question is, I'm kind of wasting my time over here by just looking at it, but really don't want to maybe if I get a little extension on it I might be able to get the height
It's coming. Low but sure. That's scary taking that off because it's plastic. Oh, we got diesel on the floor. All right, so as I was saying, it's plastic, right? There's your nut, your socket. Only way to get that off is nice and slow. So anyways, I got diesel all over my floor now. Looks like I'm gonna have to get some speedy dry, which I have some. Pull up the cartridge. Uh, once you put your hand in there, there's a little white. Piece and you spin it around a couple times. Try to let it drain out as much as you can before you take it out. This is the cartridge. All right, so we have to put one of one of them in. Comes with two gaskets. One goes on the bottom right here. Make sure that's perfect right in there. The other one goes on the bottom, which I'll show you guys really quick. Which is uh, top where this screws in. This goes around the seal there. So you're going to have a gasket there. So if you get in there, reach your hand in there. Pretty much where the, the treads are. Here's the old one. Pull out of that one. Take this one. This place, uh, diesel, like that. Throw that inside here. Now, when it goes in, you don't want to push it all the way in there too quick because you have diesel in there. You want to let it submerge just a tad bit. Push it down. All right, so that one's in. Take your cap back out. Screw it. Hand tighten, guys. Let's just hand tighten. Get your socket. Put that piece on. All 
Now I'll get up there. You don't want to go too tight. Just crank it on by hand. Give it a little snug, just like a typical oil filter. Once that filter's done, stick your hand back in there. Plug up. We plug that. Make sure you hit a little snap. All right. One more filter to go. And I'll show you where that one's located. For this one here, we're gonna go to the back of the truck. Good, where you fill. Don't mind the dragon underneath the truck. Let's see if you guys can see it. It's the glare from the light. All right, so anyways, you have tank at the rear of the tank, probably about a foot in the rear. So this is the rear of the tank, a foot. You got the strap right above the strap. Here's your filter right here. You're going to have a wire on there also. You have to disconnect that wire. So let me disconnect the wire. Uh. Oh. Kick your hand in there. It's a bolt. It's a metal cottage. And it's gonna be a mess. I'm gonna move you guys back a little bit so I don't get no splash on the diesel. All right, so uh, looks like I'm gonna have to get a wrench. And I'll be right back. Okay. All right, hopefully, I got the stuff for this filter here now. So bottom of the filter, it's gonna have this plastic thing. It's gonna look like a nut. It's gonna have a wire hanging out. It's gonna be a color code bloom black, we'll say. And screw that. You also can let the diesel out if you wanted to. See if I can do that without it. Drain the diesel. So it don't make a big, big mess. Never feels. Why nobody likes doing these jobs. All right, so now I get that 
there. Put that up. <clears throat> All right. Looks like his hand loose. <laughs> I didn't let it bleed enough. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Case of diesel. So, anyways, that's what you have to disconnect. The little blue wire. This is on the filter itself. Ah, uh, yeah. Good thing I have to change the clothes here. Give me a minute to get a little cleaned up. All over my back. That's not too bad. I will use a shirt anyways. Guys, so give me a second. I'm going to go to my locker. I'm going to pick myself up another shirt, okay? Same time. We'll use that shirt there. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. I have to change my shirt. Nothing like a back full of diesel. All right. Hope you guys are still there. All this here. Gotta get this off. So after thinking about it, the first piece I took off on this filter is that little nut there. I should have left it on. Probably would have never took a, a bath with the diesel.
It's not working. Oh my god. Note to self, next time you do one of these diesel filters in the rear, this piece right here that screws onto your filter, do not take it off. Leave it on until you take the filter off. So there's the old filter. So we're going to be putting in uh, W and whiskey. F and Frank 10112 filter. And that's done by a Wix. Here's the filter. Save myself some time. I think I'm going to apply this on the filter first. Same thing, just snug it up. Don't crank it on. You have the piece on. When you change this rear filter, note again, do not take this off. Leave it on. It goes on just like an oil filter. Watching a couple people, they said, as far as priming the diesel, you you can. In this particular case, you could put some diesel in this filter, but if you just crank it over, crank, 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 no prime. Just don't expect it to start up right away. Give it a couple times. She will start. All right, so now I gotta connect the last part. Which is this wire again. Yeah. Can I have the office a little bit, Will do, sir. Clean up a mess just a tad bit. Do what you can. Take you guys with me. Now keep in mind when you start her up, you're not going to do a full crank on it. You're going to just turn her over just a tad bit. I just got to wash, uh, find a rag. Let's crank her over. Let's see if she works. Okay, so right now, 
just about 56 minutes into this, this live video, I've replaced uh, oil, oil filter, and it's two fuel filters. Like I said, two, three times, break it over, let it prime itself. Everybody has their own way of doing it. I searched uh, Google a couple times. I think that was the best way what I did. I might get some hate on it, but I'm going to shut it off. I'm going to check make sure the oil pressure is right there on the gauge. All full of diesel. All looks pretty good so far. I don't see no leaks anywhere. Oil's on the safe. All right, till the next live video. We'll talk to you guys later. Lucky 7 Mudbow is YouTube.com. Just got done doing oil change and two uh, filters in this diesel within one hour. It could be done. Do it yourself. Don't send it out to a mechanic. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button.